Welcome to another MyTrack training. This training class will consist of looking at tables. Tables is a very key concept in quoting. Using tables you basically create standards where your shop is able to perform certain tasks at specific rates. Now what we have here is the idea of lookup table types and lookup tables. Lookup table type groups common types of tables for, for a specific type of operation. For example, if I look at laser, a laser can have multiple tables. A table returns a value based on like a thickness it return a speed and feed rate. So different thicknesses require different speed and feed rates. That's why you'd be using a table. But what a type does is that speed and feed rate may change based on the type of material. Aluminum, corroy steel, wood, anything that is different that requires a different speed and feed rate. But the idea of a table type is to group those common tables along a table type. So in this example, I have three tables types. Laser, water jet, and shear. I'm going to go to look at table maintenance now. I have a single table in here and I will create another one. This is a laser table, but this laser table specified that by the type is specific for aluminum. So this aluminum table actually has five values. For example, if the thickness is less than 0.05, the speed rate on that laser, the cutting inches, is 1400 inches a minute. If it's less than 0.1, it's 1300 inches, and so on, up to 0.25 quarter inch, it's 1000. But a speed and feed rate may be different for other types of material types. So I will create another table specifically for that type of operation. So I'm going to say laser and this will be for stainless. So laser stainless. Laser stainless table. Now I could come in, save that, and actually now add my lookup values. So I'm going to say 0.05 thick. The speed rate is 900 inches per minute. And if I go 0.1, my feed rate may be 900. Oh, I mean, not 900. Let's go edit that value and say 850. Then I could create another one, which is 0.125, and it's 750 another one that's 0.25 and it's 600. When you're done, all the values are saved. The table could be as long as you wish. You could think of this of this as like a multiplication table. It looks up a value and returns another value. Tables are used in formulas which you'll will review in another training video and then in the formulas are associated to operations like the laser operation. You can actually hit the import button if you have tables preset and the import button will let you bring in a common delimited list of table values, table lookup and return value. So that is all there is to creating a table. Tables are very easy to create as you see. You can create standards so you don't have to look this information up an example would be a water jet or laser table. You'd be able to say, I'm cutting 300 inches for this part. And the system will actually be able to look up that thickness in a table which you create, which then will return your speed and feed rate to give you a pro appropriate time, estimated time, to complete that laser operation. But it's not just specifically for lasers. There's customers that use it for shearing, for assembly, for putting hardware in to parts, for cutting, for milling. 
So you can use tables for everything. You just need to create your tables and create your own standards. Please review some of the other training videos about formulas and creating formulas with laser tables or tables.